Hello, my name is Dee Russell, Independent Sales Director with Mary Kay. I began my business in 2011. At that time, I had two full-time jobs. I was a band director by day and an aerobics instructor by night. I have two amazing, beautiful, intelligent children and a wonderful husband of almost 17 years. So one might say that I had three full-time jobs, not just two, but three <laughs> at that time. Um, when Mary Kay was introduced to me, I actually had been experiencing some uh, issues with acne. It's not something that I had experienced before. I would consider myself to have been a pretty lucky teenager. I uh, didn't have to deal with um, that kind of issue through my teenage years. I had lots of girlfriends that also experienced acne when they were pregnant with their children. Again, I was lucky. I didn't have to experience anything like that. And in the beginning of my 30s, my luck ran out. <laughs> and my face declared war. Um, I tried everything that you can imagine uh, to, to, do, to fix it on my own. I tried everything over the counter, at the grocery store, at the department store, online, uh, things that uh, friends suggested, natural remedies, um, things that friends were selling from direct sales companies. Nothing was helping me. Um, after finally resolving to, I can't fix this, I need help, I ended up in a dermatologist's office and for almost a year a team of dermatologists were working on my uh, face. I was diagnosed with adult cystic acne and after almost a year my dermatologist dumped me as well. The last appointment that I had with him, he said that uh, they had tried everything that they could think to help me and nothing was helping and so it was something that I was just going to have to outgrow. And what I knew, being a woman, is uh, our hormones fluctuate for the rest of our lives. What if I never outgrow this? I knew that there had to be something that was going to help my face. And if that dermatologist was going to give up on me, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to give up on myself yet, okay? So I was devastated though. Devastated actually doesn't even begin to describe the word that I was feeling. I lived in a little town in West Texas and I had driven an hour and a half to the dermatologist's office to get dumped. And so on my hour and a half drive home, I called my friend Laura, my dear friend Laura, who um, has been instrumental through this business in changing my life. And we'll get to that here in just a minute. But Laura, um, I called and uh, told her, began to tell her what had just happened. And she said, Dee, I, I know that you have spent so much money trying to fix your face and you have tried everything I can think of to fix your face and I don't know what else to do but pray for your face and so she invited me to her house to enjoy a pot of coffee with her and uh, tell her everything that happened and she was going to pray for my face. And so on my way home I drove to my friend Laura's house. She lived in the same town that we were living in and um, I began again to tell her uh, what had just transpired between the dermatologist and myself and she began to pray for my face and while she was praying there was a knock at her door she got up to answer the door I grabbed a kitchen towel to wipe my tears from my face because I can't stand it when people see me crying and so I'm drying my face and in walks in her Mary Kay director Mindy and uh, Mindy sat down and she was very concerned and with the most concerned tone in her voice and look on her face, she began to touch my face and ask me what's wrong. And all I remember thinking was, great, the one uncontaminated clean pore that I had is now contaminated because she just touched my face. <laughs> Woo, if you've ever dealt with acne, then you know what I'm talking about. Um, and when I say adult cystic acne, it's, I mean, just imagine the worst cystic acne that you've ever seen and I'm telling you that is what I had going on with this face and she's touching it I felt gross I felt insecure and now I felt dirty you know and so um, I began and Laura began to uh, translate <laughs> for me through my you know blubbering um, what had just happened and what had been going on for the last almost three years to this point with my face and I don't even know that we finished the story and Mindy says to me, well, she asks, have you ever tried Mary Kay? And I really am shocked to this day that my eyes, I, I had the biggest eye roll. They went so far back into my head. I'm so glad that they came back out in the front because <laughs> I remember thinking to myself, this lady, I don't even know her and she's just trying to sell me something. 
And my friend Laura knew me all too well, and so she could read uh, the look on my face, and, and she very quickly uh, grabbed two little baggies out of her kitchen drawer um, and began to squeeze a cleanser and a moisturizer into each baggie. My friend Laura had just signed up to be a Mary Kay Beauty Consultant, and her director, Mindy, was this woman that had just come to her house um, to train with her one-on-one. -on -one. And so um, Laura says to me, she says, Dee, I know that you've spent thousands on your face and I just don't want you to spend another penny. And so she said, I'm, I want you to try the cleanser and moisturizer. I'm just going to let you, I've, I've squeezed, you know, the cleanser and moisturizer into these baggies and I just want you to try them for two weeks. And she said, I don't know if it's going to work. She's a brand new beauty consultant. I don't know if it's going to work, <laughs> but let's try and let's just see. What do you have to lose? And so, um, armed with my baggies, I began to pack my things and, and head back to the door. And on my way, Mindy says, wait, um, can I share with you a little bit about my Mary Kay story? And so she did. And there were lots of things in, in Mindy's story that really kind of intrigued me. And in that conversation, she said to me, if Mary Kay fixes your face, will you sign up to be a beauty consultant? And I don't know what possessed me to say this, but I said yes. <laughs> And uh, I left that evening um, thinking the products weren't going to work, and so I wasn't really worried about having to um, follow through on my word, because I am a woman of my word. And when I say I'm going to do something, I do it 110%. And uh, so I wasn't really worried about that at that point. I just thought there's no way these, this is going to work. But I'll try it, because I tried everything else. So I left. Two weeks later, I had run out of product. My face was not clear. But it was changing. And I knew, having worked with a dermatologist, that I needed to give, anytime you change your skincare routine, you need to give your skin a good six to eight weeks to really see what it's going to do. And so I went back to my friend Laura and um, asked her if I could purchase, because I wanted to help her. I didn't want to just take, you know, product from her for free. Um, asked if I could purchase a cleanser and a moisturizer from her. And I continued with my regimen. Well, a couple months later, my face was clear. And those words that I spoke to Mindy in Laura's living room came back to haunt me a little bit. <laughs> because all I kept thinking was I have two full-time jobs and I have two amazing children and one wonderful husband and, and how am I going to fit one more thing into my life? <clears throat> but I am, again, a woman of my word and I told her that if this was going to clear my face, that I would sign up to be a beauty consultant. And one thing that, Mary, that Mindy had shared with me <clears throat> that um, made me decide, you know, what do I have to lose if I just um, get this starter kit thing and, and worst case scenario, I'm, I'm getting products for myself for 50% off. That's smart, right? That's like the best Black Friday sale ever, all year round, just for myself. And so that, to me, felt like a good decision. I'd be saving money for my family. So, I signed up. I signed my agree agreement with uh, Mary Kay in April of 2011, and um, thinking that I would just be getting products for 50% off for myself, products that I love, that not only saved my face, but saved my life. <laughs> um, more about that here in just a minute, but um, what began to happen was people around me wanted to know, what, what are you doing to your face? Your face looks amazing. What products are you using? And so just from opening my mouth, not only was I getting my products for 50% off, but then I began to gain a 50% gross commission from everything that I was selling as an active consultant. So this business started to kind of pick up for me. I ran that business kind of like a hobby for three years. Um, very, very, very part-time. I remained um, in my capacity as the head director at a junior high there in a small town and uh, also an aerobics instructor at not one but two different gyms and uh, just opened my mouth about the products that I was using and everybody wanted them. So I felt like I was kind of lucky. This was kind of fun and I felt like I was servicing women. They didn't have to go to the store to get their products. All they had to do was send me a text or give me a ring and say, Dee, can you bring you know, my cleanser to, to work? You know, And uh, I saved them a trip to the store every time I did that. And so that was a lot of fun. I did that for three years, like I said, just kind of working my business as a hobby. After that, 
time, my husband, who's also a band director, um, interviewed and was hired at a band directing position just outside, just on the east side of Dallas, where we now reside. And so um, we moved our little family to just east of Dallas and uh, began a new journey. I made the decision at that time not to interview for a band directing position and not to um, interview for a position at a local gym either. I made the decision at that time to start working my Mary Kay business like a business and not like a hobby. And I just wanted to see where it would take me. At that time, my daughter was nine years old, my son was seven, and I had realized um, half of my time with my children was gone. Uh, my, both of my children are very independent and they've talked about going to colleges and not even in the state, you know, in other, <laughs> in other states in this country that we live in. And, and uh, I realized when we moved here that half my time with them was gone and I wasn't going to get that back. And so that was the single driving force to me uh, deciding to work my business like a business and no longer like a hobby. Um, so that's what I did. And six months from making that decision, so I'm already three years into my business, uh, six months from our move to Dallas, um, from making the decision to work my Mary Kay as a business instead of a hobby, I became a sales director in the top 2% of Mary Kay. One month later, I earned my very first free car. Uh, one year from that date, I was named the number three director for my debuting class in the nation. Um, and at this point in my career, we just earned our third, actually, uh, free car with Mary Kay. And when I say free, they pay tax, title, license, uh, registration. Um, I pay a little bit for insurance and I put gas in it. And it's a write-off because I drive a company car. <laughs> and I saved my family hundreds, thousands at this point after driving free for years um, in car payments that we're no longer making. Um, so, um, one might say that I am, you know, I completely have lived and experienced working this business on both ends of the spectrum. From a brand new beauty consultant working my business as a hobby, to a seasoned consultant and now director in the top 2% of the company working my business like a business. This company not only, like I said, uh, saved my face, but it saved my life. I enjoy the freedom and flexibility that I now have with my family. I don't have to miss a basketball game or a baseball game or a band concert. I can take off and, and enjoy a lunch uh, with my husband during his lunch hour. Um, there isn't any other business that I can imagine in this world that would give me the freedom and flexibility that I so much enjoy. Um, so I'm so grateful to my friend uh, Laura for squeezing that cleanser and moisturizer into those baggies and I'm so grateful for her director Mindy. It was kind of a divine appointment I think. Um, her going to Laura's house that day for some one-on-one -on -one training and meeting me and asking me what I had to lose. And I so love asking women that question. What do you have to lose? Why not? 